Lower order aberrations, first of all. This is what we know classically as the nearsighted and farsighted and the astigmatism. Nearsighted is where you can see up close, but you can't see far. Farsighted, you see uh, at far better than at close. Although, as you get older, you lose both of those. Astigmatism is the cornea or the focus system out of round. And what that means is it just distorts stuff, like a funhouse mirror. And, and, and these are lower order aberrations. This is really what gets measured when you go to the optical place uh, to get glasses, to get contacts. It's also what gets measured in almost all forms of LASIK even performed today as for the treatment. Then there's the higher order aberrations. Higher order aberrations are the, the lumps, the bumps, the wrinkles, the defects, the stuff that scatters light because you were not made in a factory, you were made in a womb. And that means it's asymmetric. It's not only asymmetric, it's got defects, it's got flaws. Those are what we call higher order aberrations. And this is the same technology, the same science, the same optical physics that's used in something like spy satellite cameras, cameras, uh, the Hubble telescope. The Hubble telescope was, <sighs> uh, had a problem with higher order aberrations because its actual focusing system was made essentially flawed. Just like a human cornea is made flawed, a human eye is made flawed, that was made flawed. But you couldn't send machinery up to machine that, the flaws out of that system. So what they did was they took the images, figured out the flaws from the images, and they actually sent a lens up that actually canceled out the flaws to make the whole thing work again. Well, that's kind of what we're doing here. We're doing something like what the Hubble telescope does, but first we had to figure out really how this whole thing came together. And these high order aberrations cause glare, halo, starburst, double vision. They can actually cause a quite a bit of headache and pressure in the head simply because the brain has to compensate for them. So what happens is when you're actually focusing the light here through the cornea, through the lens, to the retina, this is all focused here, but then sent to the brain and it has to make sense out of it. It has to interpolate it. It has to make the final image, just like the digital sensor of a camera collects light, sends it to the little processor, computer processor, that makes the image, okay? So what we have here is how out of focus is it? And then here we have how many defects or flaws in the system there are. And the eye is pretty simple. It's essentially here you have a cornea that focuses the light in. You have a lens that also does some of the focusing of the light. That lens gets stiffer as you get older. It's flexible, but the loss of that stiffness is what causes the need for reading glasses. And then you have an aperture system, which is an iris. Essentially closes and opens to set more or less light in. And that is just like the aperture on a camera. Closes more in bright light, opens in uh, dim light. 